have food for you. The teachers are trying to make sure that you have food so you can come get food. Okay? okay. All right. We all see that there are students that come in really, really hungry in the morning. We had a real fear that if they stay out of school, that that source of food um, to keep them sustained was going to be cut off for them. We got a notice from UTLA that they were offering a grant to Title I schools to have $300 to buy food. It was enough for, I think, a, a couple of days. Dana lives in my neighborhood and made a post on Facebook that the teachers at her school were pulling together their resources to make sure their kids didn't go hungry. Wendy picked up on that and she said, I'd like to contribute a few items for you. That just picked up momentum. There was one post after another where I'd like to contribute to, I'd like to contribute to. I went to pick it up and there was literally a carload of food. We have Lunchables, we have Danimals. We really believe there's no such thing as other people's kids. And this is what teachers do day in and day out. They sacrifice for their students willingly and happily, even when they're not getting paid. The community definitely came together. All the food they bring out, nobody's asking them to do that. It comes out of their heart, and that just shows that they support the parents, they support the teachers. We love Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Thanks for all your support. These are people who have never met our children. We're halfway across the valley, and they just did this because they care about kids. And that's what the strike is about. We believe in what we're doing. We believe that we're asking for very reasonable things for the success of our students and for the community as a whole. I'm really hoping that we can come to an agreement that pays our teachers what they desperately need to live in this city, that offers our students the investment they need to be successful in school and in life.